So today we're standing in one of the lakes of the Cone Valley Viaduct. Um, the, you can see we started to build the deck uh, about one year ago. So you can see on the far back the launching girder installing the segments. And it's approaching a quite um, interesting part of the construction phase where they're going to install the segments across the lakes and approaching to the halfway mark of uh, the whole viaduct. So in the background we see the on the far back is the launching girder installing the segments. Uh, then on the forefront we'll have the V piers, which is an iconic uh, piece of structure that we're building here on the viaduct because of their shape and their complexity, which demarks it from the other types of piers. Uh, so the V piers are a set of 11 piers that um, span through the lakes in Con Valley. So they're designed like this to increase the span, so that reduces the number of piers um, in any sort of given distance. And they're obviously uh, they're also designed to mimic the, a stone skipping across the lake. That's one of the architects' sort of main main drivers for these V piers. As you can see, it's not just all plain concrete. So we've got this textured form liner. So you can see it creates this kind of rocky effect. There's a lot of different angles to play with, and you get this kind of quite cool striking sort of wrap around sharp edges underneath. So this is actually nearly complete, this pier. So starting from the bottom, you've got the pile cap down here. So there's six piles, which take the load of the whole structure. Uh, there's a big pile cap, which carries the, all of the remaining stuff above. There's a tower crane. So each V pier has got its own tower crane for the, for the build process. You can see four temporary props around. So these are currently carrying the sort of near 1800 tonne weight of the pier. In the middle, you've got the pier itself, the short pier. And then on top, you've got the bearings. So these bearings will eventually take the whole load of the structure and allow for the, the movement as it expands and contracts in the heat. Above it is the V pier itself. So in here, you've got roughly 520 meters cube of concrete. It takes about nine hours to pour and it rises up. And up above us up here, you've got the final stage, which is the SOP, which is the segment on pier. So this is actually the same shape as the precast segments that the viaduct team erect, but actually poured in situ. So after we build the V piers, the deck team will come in with their prefabricated segments. The um, launching girder is going to come in and install those uh, segments, which are going to be cantilevered off and using some infills and glue to keep it together and spanning across the V and then across each pier. We knew these V piers would be complicated from the start, so we were fortunate enough to build a, an, an entire mock-up of a pier that allowed us to test a few different sort of working practices. Thanks to the mock-up, as we work through the piers, we're getting quicker and quicker, so the, the reinforcement fixing duration is roughly halved from when we started, and obviously that got great benefits to the programme as we work down through the, the remaining piers in the sequence. This pier is close to the halfway point, so this is pier number 30. This is the fourth V pier we've built, and there's another seven V pairs to go as we work down towards the abutment at the far end in the south. So for me to see the first VPR complete is very exciting. I'm really looking forward to the train starting um, going across the viaduct and going on top of those piers, those beautiful piers that we've built. This is something very interesting to be part of and very proud to be part of and that is something that I will cherish for the rest of my life.